Hello, I'm Kate Brown, Oregon's 24th Secretary of State. I serve as Oregon's Chief Elections Officer, and my goal is to make voting more convenient and accessible for all eligible Oregonians. Today is National Voter Registration Day. We're teaming up with volunteers, civic groups, and organizations from all over the country to get people registered to vote. In Oregon, you're eligible to register to vote when you turn 17 years old. And when you turn 18, you'll automatically receive your ballot in the mail. Oregon is unique. We are one of the only states in the country that votes all by mail. About two and a half weeks before the election, you get your ballot sent to the address that you provide. All you need to do is fill it out and place it in your mailbox or return it to an official drop box like at your local library. It's really easy to vote and our vote by mail system is one of the most secure and transparent systems in the country. I call it no excuse voting. Every vote matters. For me, it's more than just a slogan. In my first race for the Oregon State House, I won by a mere seven votes. It's important that you register and vote because older folks tend to vote in higher numbers. Have your voice heard. Help shape the world you live in. Hello, I'm Perez Hilton. Did you know that more people in the United States check their Facebook and watch the Super Bowl then exercise their right to vote? We've got some serious issues to deal with. So how come so many of us don't even bother to vote? Is it because we don't care? Or maybe it's because we don't know our history. So let's go back, way back. Our country's first election came after fighting for our independence, a fight that cost many lives, but it was worth it because instead of being ruled by a king, we were finally able to make our own laws. But not everybody was allowed to participate. You see, back then, you had to own property, be white, and a man in order to actually vote. Now, things continued that way for about 80 years, until after the Civil War, when slavery was abolished and all men were given the right to vote. Now, hold up a minute. Just because we had the right to vote didn't mean we could use it. See, all these new voters wanted to participate, which threatened the people in power and their ability to stay in power. So they tried to stop us with violence and shady new requirements like literacy tests and poll taxes. We had to fight for nearly 100 years before the Voting Rights Act passed, which finally outlawed these dirty tricks. And you weren't the only ones that had to fight for your right to vote. Somehow women got left out and had to organize and fight state by state until we took our fight to Washington and finally got our right to vote all across the country. And even once the laws guaranteed every person the ability to vote, you still had to be 21 in most states. So when our government began drafting people under 21 to go fight in Vietnam, they realized their lives were at stake and they had no say. Young people all across the country rose up in protest and demanded that everyone over 18 should be allowed to vote. And since then, young people's votes have been crucial in deciding lots of big elections. Like in 2008, when a black candidate had a real chance to become president, young people showed up in record numbers. And every year, we make up a larger share of the voting population, giving young people more power, but only if we participate. So let me break it down. Together, there is so much we can decide, like whether or not we should go to war, or how we spend our money, and how we power our lives. We can determine who has the right to marry, and who has the right to choose, what possessions should be outlawed, and whether or not we should legalize. It's up to you to make your choices and shape our future. 
If we sit on the sidelines, then others will make it work for them instead of us. So let's make our voices heard. So what would it take for you to vote? On November 6th, Oregonians will be voting on some very important issues, including who will be our next president. If you are 17 years or older, please consider filling out a voter registration card right now. It's really easy. To register to vote, you must be 17 years old and a citizen of the United States of America. Just fill in the ovals for the top two questions on the voter registration card. If you answer yes to both of those questions, move down to the next section. Then fill in your name, address, and birthday. Provide your ID number, driver's license number, or the last four digits of your social security number. If you don't have those with you, that's okay. Fill in the oval that says you don't have them. We'll contact you later for that information. Then you can choose a political party to affiliate with. You don't have to affiliate with a party if you don't want to. Simply choose not a member of a party. Finally, sign your name. That's it. You are now registered to vote. Make sure you turn in your voter registration card to your teacher. Thanks for your participation in National Voter Registration Day. Remember, your vote is your voice, and every voice matters.